It's a big afternoon ahead after the election results came in earlier. We have our team on the ground and live for us at NASREC sharing with us the latest developments this afternoon. Certainly a moment to exhale for those elected officials, but it is the beginning of a new and demanding journey as the ANC redefines itself and really moves towards its stated objectives of a renewal and unity. Let's uh, take you straight to our reporting pool on the ground. Of course, Bongiwe Zwane, my colleague, is there. She'll be giving us a look at all the analysis and we have our, our expert analysts in studio to look at what all of this means in terms of the way the ANC recalibrates in the months and the weeks ahead in the lead up to elections 2024. We'll come as well to Kenny Mapanga in just a moment, but Natasha Piri, let's kick things off with you. There's a lot to observe in the moments that kind of in between the main conference events themselves. Just give our viewers a sense of what the mood is like and what are some of the things you've been witnessing? Well, Iman, uh, in the words of uh, the former, the outgoing national spokesperson of the ANC, the mood is that of a conference. Remember, we still have those outstanding issues, uh, or ANC members still have those outstanding issues to deal with uh, in terms of the commissions, Iman, and of course, uh, the nominations and the election of those additional 200, I mean, I beg your pardon, 80 NEC uh, members, but as SABC, we are told that the issue of Andy Lungisa's uh, suspension or disqualification from standing as an NEC member was also discussed and debated in plenary. It would be interesting to actually find out what the outcomes of that issue is. But before we get to other issues, you're joined by, uh, you know, the ANC chair in the host province here in Gauteng, Mr. Panyaza de Sufi. And you would remember early on uh, this week at the PGC or last week, uh, the ANC in the province had said that they are not going to compromise on two positions, that of deputy president and that of uh, the first DSG. And seemingly Gauteng Dang seems as if one well, of the biggest winners, you've got ANC President Sol Ramaphosa, you've got Paul Mashadile, and you've got Nomvula Mokonyan. We can add Gwen Ramukhobe as well from <laughs> Tsan. No, indeed, it's a major relief. Uh, we're, we're quite excited. But as soon as they uh, um, were on that stage, uh, they became national leaders. Uh, we, we, we wish them well. I think they should lead all of us. And I'm quite thrilled that uh, even after the announcement of the results, all the provinces uh, felt that this is a an outcome we should embrace and support and I, I really want to uh, wish the leadership of the ANC good luck and, and really they must lead us so that uh, we can survive the storms that have been going through. We've been going th through so many storms uh, and we really uh, we need to find a way of resolving some of those challenges. Do you think that this leadership will, like you said, unite the ANC? And when we talk about unity, unity in real yeah. terms, not the rhetoric unity that you've been talking about over and over and over again. Well, I said it in our PGC that uh, we've been on an artificial unity mode for quite some time. Uh, we need real unity, uh, solid, uh, and hopefully the nomination that we are coming now out of the ANC will also bring a new generation, uh, a generation that will make the ANC agile, strong, uh, uh, quick to resolve matters, um, an NEC that uh, will be responsive, representative, uh, uh, an NEC that will be ready to prepare the ANC for 2024. Because the reality is, we are who we are now, uh, and the future that the ANC should look like will be dependable on what will happen in 2024. So hopefully this NEC that we are going to elect uh, will, uh, will, will respond positively to that call. I love the fact that you talk about 2024, you're forward-looking. Will you still be the Premier <laughs> of, uh, you know, this province? <laughs> post 2024 elections and also could you be sitting on the opposition benches well I, i've never been a prophet and i don't want to enter that particular space but uh, if the nc can work hard uh, the likelihood is that anything can happen uh, if the ANC can't teach its old way of campaigning, uh, I really feel that anything can happen. If the ANC can't resource its own campaign, uh, I really think anything can happen. And hopefully we're at the national conference where all the strategies will be debated and discussed. And when we have those strategies appropriately debated, discussed, uh, budgeted for, I really believe that the ANC will come on top come 2024. Voting of additional members is going to take place soon. Will or do you hope that, uh, you know, more NEC members from Gauteng will actually make it into, uh, you know, the, the NEC? 
Of course, uh, we are pushing uh, uh, former Premier David Makura, we are pushing former MEC Park Stau, Hope Papo, uh, uh, we are pushing lots and lots of people that were part of our PEC. We really believe they are ready and they have accepted uh, our nomination, so we will push for them. Uh, maybe Lady Luck will continue as well in the NEC and will get a huge representation from Houting in that NEC as well. Mr. Lucifi, thank you so much for your time. Of course, Iman, we will continue to bring you uh, rolling coverage and various reactions from various ANC officials here.